so welcome, my friend. How are you? Thank you, Thank you very much. We, um, you know, started out with just, I remember when Mel Gibson first met with me and started talking about uh, doing it in Aramaic, Hebrew, Latin. Yeah. I thought he probably picked the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah. How did he find you? How, how were you chosen to play this important role? He uh, saw The Thin Red Line. Uh, a movie I did with Terrence Malick, mm -hmm. and uh, he was, Steve McAvity told me actually that he was on his airplane and he, he says, here, I think I found the guy to play. There might be one American, and he says, it's Jim Caviezel guy. So when they met with me originally, it was, uh, he wasn't there, it was Steve McAvity and was on a surfing movie. That was a front. Yeah. And about 40 minutes into it, he shows up, next day he calls me at home, he's, he's trying to talk me out of the movie. Yeah. And I said, look, man, I already said I'd do it. He says, but you never, you might not work again. Wow. And uh, that's when I said, oh, my God. I said, what? I said, I just realized my initials are JC and I'm 33 years old. And she's, yeah, you're freaking me out. And hung <laughs> up the phone and yeah. that's all, how it all began. Did you realize at the time that this was going to have such a spiritual impact and be such an important movie to Christians? Yes, because it wasn't going to be watered down. Right. And that's the only reason why I said, well, what's the problem here? Uh, once I saw the controversy, which was in, you know, the, the scripture just loaded with controversy, and and uh, and, and uh, not much has changed in 2,000 years. So right. I looked at this thing and I said, well, no, we gotta gotta do it. And I was, I did feel uh, a bit of fear, mm -hmm. but um, but I also felt like you know this is what you were called to do. You've got to make this movie. And look, man, regardless if I'm making the passion or anything, I've always been drawn to the truth. And mm. there could be, out of 100 Christians, 99 that are false. But right. that one would have bugged me. It would have been a thorn at my side. Right. And so I turned and faced it. Right. You had said many times that you wanted people to not see you, but the Christ that lives in you come through. Do, do you think you accomplished that? Well, first of all, if you're an actor, and if you're a real one, if you're a celebrity actor, you want them to see you. Mm -hmm. If you're a real actor, you want them to see the character you're playing. Amen. And uh, no different there. I, I wanted people to be moved profoundly. I wanted to take myself out of the picture. And I just wanted the Jesus to use me as a vehicle. Good. And um, I think that when I watch it, I have the same reaction. I, I just weep like a baby. Yeah. So I take myself out and I feel like I'm watching him. How did you prepare for this role? <sighs> okay, like every film, you know, you read the script. Okay. And then you go to the, the real script, which is the Bible. Mm -hmm. I read it more than I had ever read it before. This one was, now I got to sink or swim on this. So I had prayer. Big time. Mm -hmm. the, lots of people's prayers. Once it got out that we were doing this movie, mm -hmm. the huge controversy just from, you know, the core of, uh, which wasn't going to be, uh, you're not going to, um, um, you know, it's not going to make the screen. Mel had to bear the entire burden, put up all his money. That's right. Then he, nobody would take it, and the studios would. Then he went to them again and said, look, will you distribute it? Nobody would distribute the film. So he put up all his money again, and literally it was um, flip the coin, heads we win, tails they win. That's right. You know, if I was the devil, yeah, I would do everything I could to stop this movie from happening. Amen. And That's I would good. come after him, and I'd say, you're a failure, you're not going to make it, you'll never work mm -hmm. again, you're a bum, you're whatever. And, um, you know, and I felt God continually come to me, and it was that those little moments, and they were, they were... I think you can't have one and not the other. Right. You've got to suffer. If you don't suffer, what greatness is there in that? It's like an Olympic athlete who never suffered and got That's a gold right. medal. But the Bible says, greater is he that is in within us than he that is in the world. That's absolutely true. And, um, you know, that's when faith really matters. I yeah. mean, you know, I've got a thousand guys, you've got one guy. Right. Well, my faith tells me we're going to win. Yeah. What odds in, in, in that? It's the one guy that goes against the Philistine and says, you're not going to talk to my God that way. Yeah. And I'm going to, you know, 
basically have the have the have the power of God go through you. That's what I needed in this. And I feel especially right now in modern times when man is so arrogant sure. because of technology and everything that they've got it, it, it just press button. It's ridiculous. If you don't pray, they don't and this movie was as much of a warning to us as anything. I agree. And it's still having a huge impact. I know people had to have come up to you and given you stories of the way it impacted them or when it impacted a friend. What, what had you heard from people after they saw the film? How, how were they touched? Oh, it was a plethora of stories. Um, I think the biggest thing is, and this kind of come off as a negative, is I, I would go to these parties in the Oscar year, mm -hmm. and people, actors would come up to me and say, I saw the, the Passion of Christ. I didn't see that movie. Over and over and over again, they continued to say. They were very proud in they saying wow. that they didn't see it. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, you know, then you didn't see it. So why yeah. do you have to continue to tell me this? Yeah. Um, from that side, on the other side, you know, Paul, just from the stories you told me earlier, right, um, about the man with the with the with the baby that, the that died, and, and and he had just seen it and, and been away for a long time, and, and the child came alive again. Yeah. Um, I think the continual thing with me is that if you're a, a priest or a minister, you have your collar on. Right. I can't. They can take the collar off. I can't take my face off. Yeah. So if I'm walking down the street, they go, oh, look, you know, there's there's Jim Caviezel. It's not that anymore. It's, look, there goes Jesus. Right. You represent that to, 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 to mankind. There's millions of prayer warriors out there. They're going to hold you up in prayer daily. Thank you. Bless you. God bless you.